The vast majority of rockfish species live between northern Baja California and the Gulf of Alaska. There's so damn many kinds, species. It's like Gaia created one, and then she said, well, this is cool, but I'm gonna make another one that's got stripes. And then, how about spots, but different colored spots on these two species, and then, and then you wind up all of a sudden like with 70 species off the west coast of the United States. I started working for the Stag Narrow Boats when I was 11 or 12, and we would go out and we'd fish in the deep water, and we would catch rockfish all day long. And it was like, this was the size of the rockfish. We always thought, well, that's how big they are. And it's like, okay, they shut that down. I mean, we were all bummed. It was, as hard, it was devastating towards the fisheries a lot, but to recover, and now you will not see a rockfish that is not huge. Like, they're so big, you can't even believe it. And the amounts, too, just clouds of these fish that we're seeing out there, and, it, and it's, it's really neat to see. Rockfish is the most plentiful. It's our bread and butter. I mean, without, as far as me as a sport fisherman, I mean, without rockfish, I, I wouldn't be able to, to support my family. You know, I mean, it's, it's definitely our number one as far as the resource and what's out there. The salmon are more lucrative, you know, when they're here, but with all the drought situation that California's been going through, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring as far as the salmon, you know, but the rockfish is the go-to, and that's what, you know, most of the commercial guys here, too, are making their, their living off of. Whereas if they were relying on salmon, that they couldn't make a living. They would be doing it for fun, essentially. Something that customers can rely on that's always on the menu is rockfish. We do a rockfish sandwich where it's a whole rockfish filet on a brioche bun with homemade slaw and house remoulade sauce. It's incredible. Rockfish sandwich, rockfish and grits, fish and chips. What can you not do with rockfish? <laughs> Whatever you want to do, if you want to make a fish soup or pasta or just a nice piece of fish to grill, it's coming from, you know, the California ground fish. I don't think that people necessarily would think that they'd come to a restaurant like Providence and be served. You know, vermilion rockfish is another great example. Like, we serve vermilion often, and um, many times it's the one white flesh fish that we have on the menu here that's actually cooked. At Connie and Ted's, that's because we don't serve any imported fish whatsoever at Connie and Ted's. That's what they serve for crudo over there, is, is, uh, is vermilion and rockfish. All of these ground fish that, we're, that I'm talking about, they all have like qualities that make them special. It's just a question of finding those qualities, I think. 